PS2 era simulation games were a different breed when it comes to the liberties taken on the simulation aspect of them. Some of these features were developers just going off into the wackiest tomfoolery they can possibly think of. Look at MLB 06 The Show on PS2. There's a mode called King of the Diamond where you either rep the Bloods or the Crips and play abbreviated baseball with these cardboard cutouts, bumpers, and giant hit it here bonus signs. Madden 08 on the PS2 had a fantasy league where you play against weird teams like this one here. A team made up of scoundrels, cheats, and rogues. The deceivers will do anything they can to gain an event. Man, you didn't even need to create this team when you have the Patriots already in the game, my man. NBA Live 05 had introduced the slam dunk contest. Now, for whatever reason, dunk contests in video games up until this point have been pretty non-existent. Isn't the dunk contest the most popular NBA All-Star Weekend activity? We would get the three-point contest for years and even some skills challenges, but if you want a dunk, you really had to wait until NBA Live 05. I'm playing 07, but it's the same for the most part. Now I know what you're thinking. What could be so crazy about a dunk contest? Well, you know how Jordan won 87 dunk contests by dunking from the foul line? Well, we can dunk from the foul line. We could dunk from the foul line doing a cartwheel, we could dunk from the foul line while putting the ball underneath our legs. We could dunk from the foul line with our elbow in the rim. We can even dunk from the three-point line. Okay, no you can't, but that's only the tip of the iceberg. Let's jump on into the actual contest. Is narrow the field down inside? We got trouble, right? Go, go, come on. Oh, man. Okay, this isn't working. That's why we go to dunk school. This is where you can practice. Practice? Yes, practice your dunks. I mean, it, listen, we talking about practice. Now, this isn't as simple as running up to the basket and pressing the square button. Dunking is in three phases. First, pressing a face button to start the dunk, then pressing and holding another face button, then releasing that face button at the perfect time to finish the dunk. This already gives a lot of potential combinations, but dunks change when you consider the fact that where you dunk the ball changes your dunks. Also, the shoulder buttons are modifiers that change your dunks when held. This is how you can do this car wheel that can surely get you qualified for the Australian breakdance team. You can also spin the left stick around for rotations for your dunks, which leads to completely crazy 720 dunks. Uh-huh. Check this out! Wait, he's, he did two of them, EJ! That he did be, two 360s! Uh, uh, 720! I didn't think that was humanly possible. That's only what you would tip. Crash Bandicoot-ass dunk. But we're not done yet. We have the ability to throw the ball too. Bounces, tosses off the backboard, off the shot clock, the camera, the jumbotron. This is crazy. And it's not just tosses, it's kicks, fists, elbows, knees. Sounds like a damn MMA fight. Sometimes I trigger new tosses by accident. So I spelunked the deepest, darkest mid 2000s gaming forums and found some forum posts on different types of tosses. We're doing quarter circles with the right stick and shit. Am I tossing basketballs? or Hadoukens? Anyway, we see all this stuff we could do, like Arnold's jump shot from Hey Arnold, and yes, he actually shot the ball like this, not just free throws. Even soccer moves, between the legs, backward shots, trust me, there's a lot, and experimenting is the name of the game. Still honors the shot clock. Let's see if he tries the same thing again or if he'll go with something else. Bets twice, Greg, he's right. Or if you're ever tired of just dunking, you could turn this into a trick shot contest. Now that we all know this, let's get into the lab. Now that I've practiced enough, I want to use someone else that's bred from the ground up to do nothing but dunk. The experiment. I changed no ratings on this guy except dunking and that's it. And, and jumping too, because that goes hand in hand, really. But that's it. Oh, and a strength because I want the dunks to be a little emphatic, you know? But that's it. I kind of want him to be a little fast too. But yeah, this is my guy. I don't know why he has a kids next door toupee on his head, but I'm just gonna let him rock. Oh, and it turns out you can't even use creative guys in this contest. Well, that was a waste of time. I guess Julius Irving is good enough. Playing in the actual contest instead of just practicing is a little different. 
you're on a time limit to complete a dunk. If you miss a dunk, you have a chance to retry it. Also, you don't have access to the jumbotrons and cameras to bounce the ball off of in practice mode, so naturally it'll take some time to do this. I'd like to bring up the commentary, at least for this mode. There's already some sus lines in here. My boy is feeling it. I told you, keep stroking it. Pause. Even going as far as to insult you. Seems to be somewhat of a timing issue here. Uh, I'd rather be home watching you attempt to dunk. I'd rather be home watching me attempt to dunk. Hey, that's not a bad toss. Uh-huh. Off of the uh, Jumbotron. That would have been we, nice. It would have been, but when are we going to get some execution out here? I'm all for his execution. Perhaps lethal injection. Wow. Thanks for telling me I should die by execution, rated E for everyone basketball video game. This was also said while I was controlling Kobe, so... Uh... So, yeah, so after experimenting with it, I put together something good. Now one of this guy's favorite moves, there it is. He got it done. He did anything, anytime you can add a little bit of creativity, other than just call it a 50, but you gotta say. His Bro, what is a 10 dunk to you? This was crazy. This has to be some form of hating. Doesn't help that LeBron immediately responded with this. Got him. That's a little different. Uh huh. And I think oh, that is going to be a winner for him. I tell you what, that definitely will warrant a high score. Anytime you can float like that. Oh, now that was nice. Off the jumbotron into a OBJ one-handed catch into a dunk. Can't compete with that. The more and more this goes on, the more you realize that it takes time to get good at. It's definitely not a mode you could just jump into like you can with the Parappa the Rapper gameplay in the modern 2K slam dunk contest. It's especially hard when I'm being told to die every fail attempt. It gets a little easier when you know what dunks would be an automatic 50 score, like the washing machine spin cycle dunk and the cartwheel into double underleg. Man, th this actually sounds really silly. The computer goes from hitting the most mind shattering shit you'll ever see to doing just like a WNBA type of dunk. Interesting to watch them and see if you can replicate it. And after you win, that's what you'll be doing. Just in the lab, working on different tosses and modifiers to get your dunk. There's also this little mini mode where you and another player can be playing at the same time to try and get a high score. Aborted? Whoa, I didn't know we were getting all political now. This slam dunk contest would debut in NBA Live 05 and would be discontinued in NBA Live 10 for some reason. This along with the NBA 2K8 slam dunk contest where you can jump over cars. I'm okay. Are the only good dunk contests that have ever been put into a game. And since this video is going to fall short of the algorithm pleasing 10 minute mark, we'll talk about the NBA 2K8 slam dunk contest. Brought to you by Sprite. Now I'm ready. On the surface, this looks similar to the live one, and it kind of is. The dunks are the same three step process. You have your crazy tosses and you got the cartwheel. Do you have the trick shots? I guess not. Something that is different is this basketball game has battle damage or some shit because your jersey can rip and soak in your shorts looking like Spongebob at the beach. Also, you have no balls or ass, so there's that. But there are some differences. You use right stick motions to dunk. It kind of reminds me of skate in a way. You can do simpler flicks, but you can also do these circular motions for harder dunks. This mode is also more pick up and play friendly than the NBA Live one. You could just spaz out with the right stick and get dunks that way if you want. And catching tosses are much more easier in this version than NBA Live, which felt like doing a physics project at times to catch this damn ball. The main thing about this dunk contest is the props. You could throw in a bunch of props to jump over. This is where the game gets a little funny. Oh shit! The computer tries to play it smart at first by going for simpler dunks early on, but as the competition goes on and on, they start bringing out the prompts for higher scores. I like both slam dunk contests. Live is more challenging and absurd, while 2K has the benefit of pick up and play and having significantly smoother animations as 2K games often did. 
But as far as today goes, 2K seems to be content with bun prompts in their slam dunk contest. And as far as modern day NBA Live, well, perhaps lethal injection.